What if I told you that the massive ball of fire keeping you alive right now is actually trying to kill you every single second? And that's just the beginning of the terrifying secrets hiding in our solar system. In this video, we're going to journey from our deadly sun to the frozen edges of space, revealing mind-blowing secrets about each world that will change how you see the universe forever. But what we discover at the end will prepare you for a journey beyond our solar system that will absolutely blow your mind. Starting with our sun, and why it's both our greatest protector and our ultimate destroyer. The sun. It looks peaceful from 93 million miles away, but here's the terrifying truth. You're staring at a massive nuclear bomb that's been exploding continuously for 4.6 billion years. Right now, NASA's Parker Solar Probe is flying through the sun's corona at temperatures of 2 million degrees Fahrenheit. Yet the spacecraft survives because space is so empty that there aren't enough particles to transfer that deadly heat. It's giving us views from inside the solar fire that no human eyes were meant to see. Every single second, the sun converts 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium. That's the mass of 400 Empire State buildings vanishing into pure energy every second. But here's what's truly mind-bending. A photon of light created in the sun's core takes 170,000 years to reach the surface, bouncing around in the dense interior, but then races to Earth in just eight minutes. The solar wind hitting Earth right now left the sun's surface four days ago, carrying the sun's magnetic field with it. If you could somehow stand on the sun's surface, you'd weigh 2,800 pounds, due to gravity 28 times stronger than Earth's, but you'd be crushed and vaporized in a fraction of a second. Here's something that will blow your mind. The sun's core is so dense that a teaspoon of it would weigh 150 tons on Earth. And the sun actually rings like a bell. Its entire surface oscillates every five minutes from acoustic waves bouncing around inside, creating solar music we can detect from space. Right now, you're riding a cosmic bullet through space. Our entire solar system is racing around the galaxy at 514,000 miles per hour, completing one galactic orbit every 225 million years. The last time we were in this exact spot in the galaxy, dinosaurs were just beginning to evolve. But now, let's begin our journey outward from this stellar inferno. Our first destination, a world where a single day lasts longer than its entire year, and where you could simultaneously freeze to death and melt into liquid metal. Welcome to Mercury, where a single day lasts 176 Earth days, but a year is only 88 Earth days. This means that on Mercury, a day is literally twice as long as a year. Imagine celebrating your birthday twice before the sun even sets once. You're looking at the most cratered planet in our solar system, a world with no atmosphere to burn up incoming asteroids. Every impact scar tells a four billion year story of cosmic bombardment. If you could stand here, you'd hear absolutely nothing. No wind, no sound, just the deadly silence of airless space. But here's what Beppe Colombo just discovered that's rewriting textbooks. Mercury has a liquid iron core that makes up 75% of its radius the largest core relative to planet size in our solar system. This tiny world is basically a giant iron ball wrapped in a thin, rocky shell. Imagine this. You're standing on Mercury's surface at dawn. The sun appears 2.5 times larger than on Earth, blazing with deadly intensity. Within hours, the ground beneath your feet heats to 800 degrees, hot enough that if you dropped a lead fishing weight, it would melt into a puddle. But here's the insane part. Walk just a few miles to a crater's shadow and you'll find billion-year-old water ice colder than anything on Earth's surface. On the same planet, you could simultaneously melt lead and find ice that's never seen sunlight. And here's Mercury's strangest secret. This tiny world has a magnetic field, something that shouldn't exist on such a small planet. Scientists think Mercury's core is still partially liquid, creating a magnetic dynamo that protects its thin atmosphere from
from being completely stripped away by solar wind. But if you think Mercury's extreme temperature swings are brutal, our next destination will show you what happens when a planet's greenhouse effect goes completely insane. Get ready for a journey to the closest thing to hell in our solar system. Venus, Earth's so-called twin sister. But this is a twin from your worst nightmares. Venus is literally hell on steroids. The surface temperature on Venus reaches 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt copper, lead and zinc. It's actually hotter than Mercury, even though it's twice as far from the Sun. Why? Because Venus has a runaway greenhouse effect that turned it into a planetary oven. But the temperature isn't even the worst part. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is 90 times stronger than Earth's. If you were standing on Venus, the pressure would crush you like being 3,000 feet underwater. You'd be flattened instantly. And the rain? It's not water, it's concentrated sulfuric acid. Imagine acid rain so corrosive, it would dissolve your bones before you even hit the ground. Venus makes every apocalypse movie look like a fairy tale. Studies have suggested that billions of years ago, the atmosphere of Venus may have been much more like the one surrounding the early Earth, and there may have been substantial quantities of liquid water on the surface. Let's travel to the next planet. That blue, beautiful marble we all know and love. Welcome to Earth, our home. But here's what makes this planet absolutely miraculous and terrifying. Right now, you're spinning through space at 67,000 miles per hour on a planet that's positioned in the perfect Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water. Earth is the only known planet in the universe where water exists in all three states. Solid ice, liquid water, and water vapor. This tiny blue marble is a one in a billion cosmic accident that allows life to exist. But Earth's story is just beginning. Our next planet holds clues about Earth's past and possibly our future. What we've discovered on Mars will absolutely shock you. Mars, the red planet that's haunted human imagination for centuries. But here's what NASA has recently discovered that changes everything. Mars wasn't always the cold, barren wasteland you see today. Billions of years ago, Mars had vast oceans, flowing rivers, and a thick atmosphere. It was warm, wet, and potentially habitable. But something catastrophic happened. Mars lost its magnetic field, and its atmosphere was stripped away by deadly solar winds. Now here's the bombshell. NASA's Perseverance rover has found organic molecules on Mars, the building blocks of life. We're not just talking about the possibility of ancient life, we're talking about evidence that life might have actually existed on Mars. Currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. Sky crane maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance. Safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin. But SpaceX is taking this further. Elon Musk's Starship missions, starting in 2026, will search for actual living organisms beneath Mars's surface. And here's the mind blowing theory that's gaining traction among scientists life on Earth might have actually originated on Mars arriving here on meteorites billions of years ago. SpaceX's upcoming Mars missions could prove we're all Martians and that we're finally going home. But Mars is just the beginning of the incredible worlds in our solar system. Coming up next, we'll meet the king of planets, 
a world so massive it could save or destroy us all. Jupiter, the undisputed king of our solar system. This gas giant is so massive that it contains more mass than all other planets combined. But here's the shocking truth. Jupiter is the reason you're alive right now. Jupiter acts as our solar system's cosmic vacuum cleaner, using its incredible gravitational pull to capture asteroids and comets that would otherwise obliterate Earth. Without Jupiter's protection, Earth would be bombarded by space rocks and life would have been wiped out millions of times over. But Jupiter's most incredible secret isn't the planet itself. It's Europa, one of its 79 moons. Europa has more water than all of Earth's oceans combined, hidden beneath its icy surface. And in that alien ocean, there might be life. Scientists believe Europa's subsurface ocean could harbor actual extraterrestrial life forms. We're talking about alien creatures swimming in alien seas as we speak, just 390 million miles away. But if you think Jupiter is spectacular, wait until you see the crown jewel of our solar system. Saturn, the absolute jewel of our solar system. For 13 incredible years, NASA's Cassini spacecraft danced around this magnificent world, sending back images so beautiful they brought scientists to tears. Those magnificent rings aren't solid, they're made of billions of ice particles, some as small as snowflakes, others as large as mountains, all dancing in perfect cosmic harmony. Cassini revealed that these rings are constantly changing, with spokes of charged particles and shepherd moons sculpting their structure. But Cassini's most mind-blowing discovery was at Saturn's North Pole, a perfectly hexagonal storm that's been raging for decades. It's a geometric shape that's naturally occurring in nature, and scientists still can't fully explain how it maintains its perfect six-sided structure. Each side of this hexagon is wider than Earth itself. And then there's Titan, Saturn's largest moon, where Cassini deployed the Huygens probe in 2005, humanity's most distant landing. Titan has lakes and rivers, but they're not filled with water. They're filled with liquid methane and ethane. It's like an alien version of Earth with a completely different chemistry. In 2017, after 20 years in space, Cassini performed its grand finale deliberately diving into Saturn's atmosphere to protect the potentially habitable moons it had discovered. It was a beautiful, bittersweet end to one of humanity's greatest voyages of discovery. As we journey toward the edge of our solar system, the planets become even more mysterious and extreme. Uranus, the strangest planet in our solar system, and we're only now truly seeing it clearly. In 1986, Voyager 2 gave us our first close look. But in 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope revealed Uranus in stunning new detail. And what we're seeing is changing everything. Webb's infrared vision has unveiled Uranus's mysterious seasonal polar cap, a brilliant white region that appears and disappears as this sideways world rolls through its 84-year orbit. But here's what's truly incredible. Webb captured Uranus's elusive Zeta ring, the faintest ring in our solar system, invisible to every previous telescope. Uranus spins so fast, one day in just 17 hours, that Webb had to combine multiple exposures because the planet's storms and moons were literally moving during the observation. You're watching a world where the weather changes by the minute and seasons last 21 years each. But here's where Uranus gets truly alien. It rains diamonds. The extreme pressure and methane in Uranus's atmosphere create diamond crystals that fall like glittering snow toward the planet's core. Webb is now studying this process in real time, watching precious gems form in an alien sky. James Webb is revolutionizing our understanding of this tilted world, but even more shocking discoveries await us at our solar system's final frontier. Neptune. Voyager 2's final planetary encounter in 1989 
and what it discovered defies everything we thought we knew about distant worlds. This deep blue ice giant shouldn't be active, shouldn't have weather, shouldn't have storms. But Neptune doesn't follow the rules. Neptune is home to the most violent weather in the known universe. Winds scream across its surface at 1,200 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound on Earth. These supersonic storms are powered by mysterious internal heat that scientists still can't explain. Neptune radiates 2.6 times more energy than it receives from the Sun. Here's something that will blow your mind. Neptune is so incredibly far from the Sun that it takes 165 Earth years to complete just one orbit. When Voyager 2 reached Neptune in 1989, the planet hadn't even finished one complete trip around the Sun since it was discovered in 1846. We got there before Neptune had its first birthday. After Neptune, Voyager 2 headed into the cosmic void, joining its twin Voyager 1 as humanity's first ambassadors to the stars. Today, nearly 50 years after launch, both spacecraft are racing through interstellar space, carrying golden records with Earth's sounds and images, messages in bottles thrown into the cosmic ocean. But these distant ice giants are just the beginning. What lies beyond them will completely shatter your understanding of our place in the infinite cosmos. Now, let me completely blow your mind with the ultimate cosmic perspective. Everything we've just explored, the Sun, all eight planets, their moons, asteroids and comets, represents just 0.2% of our solar system's total mass. The Sun contains 99.8% of everything in our solar system. If the Sun were the size of a basketball, Earth would be smaller than a pinhead, and Jupiter would be the size of a marble. But here's where it gets absolutely insane. Our entire solar system, this massive collection of worlds we've been exploring, is just one tiny speck in the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way contains over 400 billion stars, and most of them have their own planetary systems. We're talking about potentially trillions of alien worlds out there. Planets made of diamond, worlds where it rains glass, planets with multiple suns, and ice worlds that might harbor life. And the Milky Way itself. It's just one of over two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. The scale is so massive that it literally breaks the human brain trying to comprehend it. But here's the revelation that brings it all back home. Remember those organic molecules we found on Mars? NASA has just announced something that will change everything. They've discovered seasonal methane emissions on Mars. On Earth, methane is produced by living organisms. The methane on Mars appears and disappears in patterns that suggest something is producing it, something that might still be alive. We might not be alone in our solar system. And if life exists on Mars, it could exist on Europa, Enceladus, and countless other worlds throughout the galaxy. What we've discovered today is just the first chapter in humanity's greatest adventure. Beyond our solar system, beyond even our wildest imagination, lies an infinite cosmos filled with alien worlds more bizarre and beautiful than anything we've seen today. In our next episode, we're going to journey to the nearest star system, where scientists have discovered potentially habitable worlds. We'll explore exoplanets so extreme they make our solar system look ordinary. Worlds made of pure diamond, planets where it rains molten glass, and super-Earths that could harbor alien civilizations. As we end our journey through our solar system, remember this. You're not just living on a planet. You're riding on a cosmic spaceship called Earth, traveling through an infinite universe filled with wonders beyond imagination. Every time you look up at the night sky, you're seeing your cosmic neighborhood. You're witnessing a universe so vast, so mysterious, and so beautiful that we've only just begun to explore its secrets. The universe is calling. Are you ready to answer? Subscribe now and join us as we venture beyond our solar system into the infinite cosmos. Because the greatest discoveries are still waiting to be made. Follow Space and Beyond for more interesting space videos. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars.